All right, now that we have our project set up, we can now start creating our new methods. So the first method that we're going to create is called draw line method. So let's uh, create the method now. Public sub draw line method. Okay. And we need to provide the command method here so that it will be recognized in AutoCAD command method let's just call this one as draw line as well okay so what are the first things that we need to declare we need to get hold of the document object so to do that we have to declare a variable called doc as document equals application that document manager that MDI active document next one is we need to get hold of the database object let's call that as DB then DB as database and this can be derived from the document object the document object is actually the drawing object and then let's also get hold of a the, the editor so let us declare edt as editor and this can be derived from the document that editor object okay next for every object creation it should always be wrapped in a transaction object so that is what we're going to do using trans this is our variable name for the transaction as transaction that would be equals to db that transaction manager and we should start the transaction okay so in this uh, code block here we're going to create our uh, code to draw a line but also a, a good practice is to uh, put them in a try catch block just in case we encounter some error so we can have a good handle of the error message we can trap the error and we can provide the user with the the message just in case we encounter one so to do that you type in try and just hit enter and it should create you this uh, try catch block automatically okay so in the try this is where we're going to create our code to draw a line and if there is an error it will go into this catch block here and this is where we provide the error message to the user so let us create the try catch uh, the catch uh, code first so we need to basically provide the user with a message so we all we have to do is edt the uh, right message error uh, encountered and then we will display what is the error message and then we have to abort the transaction all right so now that the error is uh, handled properly we can now focus on creating the code to create the line so the first thing that we need to do is to create a a variable for the block table object so we do that by declaring a variable like let's call that as bt as block table and then it should be bt should be coming from the transaction and then get object 
and then from the the parameter should be from the the ID as object ID this is where the database block table ID comes in and the the mode should be for read so open mode that for for oops, for read we are only reading the block table okay next we need to create a block table record based upon the, the block table so to do that we need to declare let's call that as btr as block table record and it should be derived from the trans from the transaction as well and get object and it should be coming from the BT with the string of model space it should be block table record that model space that is where we are going to create our line and the mode should be open mode should be for write because we are writing in in a database next let let us just provide uh, another information to the user that basically we're drawing a line object or you can use the bb line feed or carriage return in line feed so that it displays on its own line okay so now that we have the block table record we can now start creating our points that determines the line object so to do that we have to declare the, the starting point and the end point so let's just call the starting point as point one as point uh, 3d so we don't have the point 3d which means that we need to add into the the imports the the geometry so when we are creating objects this namespace should be added okay so dim pt1 as point uh, 3d there you go equals new point 3d and the the point location the x and y coordinates so let's just start from 0 0 for the x y z and then the point 2 or the end point as point 3d equals new point 3d let's start from let's say 25 and 150 for the y and 0 for the z now that we have these two points we can now uh, create a line but before we do that we should declare a line variable so dim let's call the variable as ln as line equals new line and the parameters are point 0.1 and point 0.2 so pt1 pt2 that is now our line now that we have this uh, ln variable we can set the properties for that so by just typing in ln that and you can set the color index for example equals one as red and then all we need to do is to append into the block table record so btr that append entity 
and the parameter should be what entity do we have to append to the block table record it should be the our line object all right then we have to add the line into the transaction so trans that add newly created db object that is our line and the other parameter is add as boolean which is either true or false so it has to be true and of course we have to commit the transaction and that's it this will be our method to draw a line okay quite straightforward so I suggest that you do this yourself try it and get a glimpse of how to create all of this variable and what particular uh, methods or properties each of these variable has and and give it a try so now let us save our project and do a build Alright, so we have one succeeded, but we have a warning here. This is we this warning was already encountered in our previous uh, project. So to fix that, we just have to go to build, click on configuration manager, and click on uh, uh, x64 if you are using a system uh, uh, 64 if you're using the 64 bit uh, operating system like Windows 7 and up and click on OK all right close this uh, form and do another rebuild okay so the the warning message is gone and we have succeeded to build the code so we are ready to try this in AutoCAD let's do that now open up your AutoCAD and type in the net load and select your project It is in DBNet project, draw objects. In the bin folder, look for this x64. Okay. And debug. And this is the DLL that we need. This is our plugin. Always load then now we should have a method called draw line let us see there you go enter nice so this is our line if we check the coordinates let's ID from here this is our zero zero and ID from this endpoint we have 25 150 perfect okay so this is our first uh, draw object method in the next video we are continue we will continue to build upon this project by creating other methods for mtext arc polyline and other objects i'll see you there